Good morning. Let's start this next weekly vlog with a chat because I've been I've been processing this morning. I've done some journaling. I pulled Eight of Wands reversed. If you're a tarot person, you know, but this is all about just taking a breath and prioritizing all of the many things going on. Because I have I have a lot going on. The last two weeks were school holidays, and while they're busy because I'm with the kids. A lot of things stop during those two weeks and we can all just take a breath from a lot of what's going on. And now that school has gone back, all of those things pick up again. And, and yes, I organize my life around school terms. So when I looked at that this morning and I realized that yesterday I didn't read anything and today I'm, I'm not gonna read anything. And maybe that'll be the case for the week. I felt this unsettled feeling of how am I going to vlog if I don't have the touchstones of reading, right? Because it's where I'm comfortable to be able to talk to you guys about books is where I'm comfortable. But it's not possible to sink into that all of the time because I got, I got a lot of amazing things going on in my life. And I, I, I need to bring you in to all of that as well as the reading. And that, that creates some unsettling and I'm, I'm not sure why. So whenever I'm faced with that uncomfortable feeling, I know that from uncomfortable comes growth, right? So I feel uncomfortable about it. Let's challenge myself this week to, to vlog, even if I'm not sitting in my green chair. So there's a ramp up when school starts back of all of the things that the boys have going on of school sport and all of the school oh, outside sport and all of the stuff. So this weekend I'm driving two hours to take my son to play football. Oh my God. That just sounds ridiculous when you say that out loud. So there's a ramping up of the mum driving. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just driving. Oh God. And then I have work our family business that Danny and I and our friend who's pretty much our family created and I have to show up there every day in school holidays I have the flexibility to work from home and work a lot less but now I have to show up every day during school hours at our offices and get that done so that takes a big chunk out of my day and then my two passions ramp up again we down tools in those two businesses over school holidays because we're all mums and everybody who kind of engages with it is a mum so we just all take a bit of a breath um i have my purpose on this life is my business untamed me which is about cycles and women connecting to their cycles as a foundation for their truth and as a foundation to live around rather than kind of adapting their body to fit a consistent life. We can achieve and be successful and, and do all of that while honoring our bodies through a cycle because any men watching out there, it is super huge what goes on in our body every 28 days. Just saying. So I have free, like I have Zooms coming up. I have um, offerings that I want to release and I haven't really engaged with it over the last few weeks. So I need to ramp up that engagement and start making that happen so that I can share the message and help women, yeah, help women get out of, uh, I could go down so many rabbit holes right now, but I'm, I'm holding it back. And then the other business that I have is with two other beautiful women. We have a gathering business. It's called She Gathered. We gather here in this studio and trying to do more online. And we release a calendar every moon cycle of all the different gatherings. We have a gathering on Friday night and I'm hosting a couple of those gatherings this cycle. So I need to, yeah, engage with all of that. And that's a social media presence as well social media it's it's a beast isn't it so yeah those two things are now where we're actioning all of that and then I have my reading and those reading plans I made that are on my wall um engaging with the community I have a whole Instagram 
sitting there with amazing people on it, sharing amazing things about books, especially Australian books that I just do not ever connect in with. And that makes me sad. I opened it up last week and I was looking through, go, oh my God, like, yeah, it, I just felt really happy being in that space. So yeah, that's another little part of my life, right? There's also lots of writing events coming up. It's writers festival season over here. So yeah, I really have an opportunity to see some amazing things. I've got to make it happen. So that's me. I mean, all of there's there's lots going on. I'm I'm a woman who is engaging with life and making a choice to engage with life and yeah, that's a lot of different things. I do have book plans. Definitely. I've started a buddy read with the beautiful Ange and I am absolutely honoring that and I'm also of course hooked into an Agatha Christie novel in the first five pages because she's amazing how she writes so there's anonymous letters people hmm. it's all very intriguing so this is me with all of the different things this is me being really quite vulnerable right now and sharing with you how uncomfortable I feel bringing you into all of that, not because of you or not because it's sacred or anything like that, just because it's, I'm so used to having books as a touchstone to talk to you. And there's a lot of worthiness stuff that comes with just telling you about my day or telling you what I've got going on. There's a lot of pressure and I see a lot of people vlogging and kind of creating things to do to be able to have content when really we're all just enough, right? Well, that's what I want to try and work through. So you're my therapy this week. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so this is my office. This is where I come every morning to get shit done before I have to go into the other office <laughs> in town and do building work. So, um, yeah, this morning I'm going to work on social media, on Untamed Me especially. I have a lot of things that I need to get set up. I have a Zoom on Sunday, a free Zoom and I need to promote that and I need to engage around that and all of the things. I need to work on social media for She Gathered because we have a gatherings coming up and we just released our calendar, all of the things, la da la da la da. All of these post-its are supposed to have been done by tomorrow. Oh, oh, not that one. I can pull this one off. This is the vlog. I posted it yesterday. I can pull that off, stick that back up. So I want to, engage with all of that as well so this is just a morning of getting shit done so I generally work here until about 8 a.m um Danny does the morning shift with the kids and gets them to school so I have this space where I can do that so it's six o'clock now let's see what I can get done in a couple of hours it sounds like a lot of time but it goes really fast procrasta vlogging I heard someone Say the other day I'm so doing that right now so let me work I'll talk to you once this is all done guys it's eight o'clock and I'm yeah I've been filming which is good um but I just I haven't posted anything I haven't edited anything that I filmed it's been a bit of a whirlwind morning Danny was in here he needed to talk through some stuff he's a manifesting generator if you know human design you know that manifesting generators just need to blurt out what's ever in their head at that time. And he needed to do that, which is cool. But that took up my time. Ugh. So I have filmed. I just need to post at some stage. I'll try and do that at work. But a reminder just came up on my phone. I have my to get my car service today. So I've got to be there at 8.30. It's now 8 o'clock. I live about 20 minutes away from there. We're in a bit of trouble. But we'll make it happen. We always do. So let's get on with the morning shift is over. Let's get on with the rest of the day. I did it, I'm only 10 minutes late. Oh my God, what a rush.
got home, my favourite thing to do when I get home is to take my hair out. Oh, that's heavenly. God, I love that. I have things to do that um, I have the read along tonight, which I have to read the chapter for, and I have to do some editing to the filming I did and promo stuff because I didn't get around to that today at work. Um, but this feels really nice. I could go a cup of tea here. <gasps> and I made some carrot cake. I could have some carrot cake and a cup of tea and read. For those of you that didn't see the last vlog, I started this for like Agatha and April, which was on on the weekend, just gone. I didn't get a chance to connect with that, but I really want to read this. It's a Miss Marple one. So I'm going to, yeah, let's have a cup of tea, a cake and read. Maybe got an hour where I can. And my friend Ange sent me her reading playlist that she listens to on Spotify. So I might put that on my headphones and do that. What a beautiful way to transition to the afternoon stuff. That makes me feel happy. Amazing. I do have children, but they'll work it out. Surely. Oh, God. Every woman out there knows how I'm feeling right now by taking my hair out. It's like when you take off a pair of high heels. You know that feeling, ladies? Oh, changes, changes everything. Okay, let's get a cup of tea, a piece of cake, and read. Yes. What's up with the rubbish in our house? Oh, I've just emptied the bin. We just there's shit everywhere. The bins were. It took all afternoon to post a reel because I am challenged in that way. Anybody who does social media well it is amazing to me. Anyway, I finished the chapter. I've got to set up the Zoom. Oh my God. The frazzle of the day. I'm going to leave you guys here and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And let's see whether we can have a calmer day. But hey, I did fit in some reading, right? So there's a win. My God, I'm so late for this soon. I gotta go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh god, I need earrings. I'm in the green chat, but now I need earrings. <laughs> I'm just popping in to say what you just saw was the morning. And now here we are at nearly four o'clock in the afternoon, getting ready to go back out again. Earrings, earrings. Is anybody else with me where you feel completely naked if you don't have earrings? These ones? Sure. So it's four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, nearly. I've got to take my son to footy training, which starts at four o'clock. <laughs> We're running a bit late. 
and then I have to whip to the post office, whip to the grocery store while these are trading, and then I can come home and then I'm going to sit and I'm going to finish reading. It's a rainy, snuggly day. I probably should get some dinner. I'm going to do all of those things. And then by the time I get home, maybe like 5.30, oh no, I have to pick up Danny. Ma oh God. Every time I think I'm nearly there, <laughs> I think of something else that needs to be done. Either way, I've had a wonderful day. We went out for lunch, had a steak, had great chats with friends. Like, yeah, it's been a beautiful day. I just have to finish off these afternoon chores and then I can sit in some calmness. So let's go and do that. Maybe 7.30 now. Did the groceries, did the football training, did the running around, fueled up my car, came home, set up a gathering in there. And I didn't take any footage of that gathering, but everyone, the women are in there playing with clay. It's so beautiful in there. And there's eight gorgeous women there. I'm not hosting it, obviously. So did that, greeted everyone, said hello, met some beautiful new people. And then got dinner ready and everybody settled with dinner my bigger one we're thinking has conjunctivitis has a big swollen eye so i'm bathing that with salty water oh my god and we need to get to bed early because tomorrow we are it's we're driving for football <laughs> just sounds so ridiculous to me so that's the thing now i have agatha i'm i'm about halfway through love it love it love it no yeah. there's no miss marple i don't know where she is i'm not too sure if it actually is a miss marple so i could be wrong on that front but anyway um and you know would love to do that but i think i'm blaming simon savage here i have in my head that i'm blaming simon savage because while I was doing something today at work that was boring, I started watching Love is Blind. Never watched that before. Totally hooked. Only halfway through the first episode. Anything to do with reality TV is my guilty pleasure. So I kind of want to just... I'll, I might finish off that first episode. Everything's getting a bit cheesy. But, you know, that's what I watch it for. And then I should have a shower and read this and fall asleep. So that's the update. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh, I'm going to make a cup of tea. I just saw my two empty teacups sitting there that I haven't washed up. So <laughs> I'm going to make a cup of tea. I just bought some nice, beautiful tea. Okay, there's the update. I'll let you know if I read any more. Or I'll let you know if I just watch Love is Blind. I think you all know what I'm going to do. <laughs> An extreme act of willpower right now. I just finished episode one, season four of Love is Blind. Old love fell asleep <laughs> when old mate <laughs> was telling her that he was falling in love with her. <laughs> and she was asleep. <laughs> I got real cranky too, but she didn't wake up. <laughs> Anyway, it ended. She's still asleep. <laughs> and he's saying he's done. <laughs> that was just the funniest thing I've ever watched. <laughs> and I've watched every season of Seinfeld. So <laughs> she fell asleep. <laughs> so that's why I... Um, <laughs> so that's why it's a big act of willpower for me to now stop watching that. <laughs> to see when she wakes up. And read some Agatha, but I really would love to get this read. This is very intriguing too. This is a cliffhanger as well. People are 
dying anonymous letters are flying around there's people from the Scotland Yard there all sorts there's a superintendent so this is what I have to do I've just realized that I have to I have to like get a book get an audio book I'm going to be four hours in a car tomorrow so that would be a really great thing to do okay how do I do that what am I reading okay I don't I don't have any audiobook apps because I, I don't listen to audiobooks but I do have the library thing maybe I could listen to a classic that could be fun okay leave it with me because I film on my phone there's no footage of this we had the seven reigns of Mali Almeida on audiobook but somebody had borrowed it out I don't understand why you can't borrow many E audiobooks at once from the library but you know who am I don't know but I did get the Saga Land which is Richard Feidler's book around Iceland and I've got that in my Eurovisionathon TBR so and Richard Feidler reads it for those of you who aren't Australian I don't know if Richard Feidler translates anywhere else in the world but he's a comedian who's been around for ages. He has an amazing, amazing podcast called Conversations. Um, so yeah, I have not read any of his books though, and that's been sitting there for ages. So I'm excited. So I will listen to that as we drive in the car. So that's pretty cool. Who am I listening to audio books? This is amazing. Love it. I might get more than one book read a month. <laughs> let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Oh no, I fell asleep mid-chapter last night. Okay. It's two in the afternoon and we left at 6 a.m. Oh my god, that's a long drive. I think we're in the car for about five hours for three 15 minute games of football. Doesn't make sense when you say it out loud, it really doesn't. But my little one, he, you know what? He got the player, they did the three games, and he got the player of the, the carnival for his team because. Yeah, he put in an amazing effort. He's he's amazing. I, while we were driving, listened to Saga Land, yeah, by Richard Feidler and Cowrie. Look, I'm going to work out how to say that name and in this vlog be able to do it. I know his first name is Cowrie. It's amazing. And I'm up to... Yeah, page 100, so chapter 8. It's my first real kind of audiobook experience, and I I think it's it's such a joy. It's such a joy. I, I'm so invested in this story. This is about Iceland, and Kauri grew up part of his childhood in Iceland and then came back to Australia, or came to Australia. And Richard Feidler interviewed him on his podcast, they became friends and Richard Feidler had always had a fascination with Iceland and so yeah Kauri has been um studying the sagas which are kind of like the fables and the stories but they're not they're kind of the yeah the recorded history of Iceland and um 
it's it's so interesting because it's not just saga after saga a retelling it is an investment in Carrie's life um, his love and his feeling of being at home in Iceland and him trying to translate that to his friend I feel so very immersed in the country in the landscape in like I, I feel it and um, yeah that's I'm the, the writing is, is beautiful and the storytelling is amazing and yeah absolutely loving it and um now i i get it i, I totally get that experience of an audiobook and how compelling it can be i want to listen to it all the time and i was just thinking i'm not going on another long trip for a while maybe this will make me exercise <laughs> you know go for a walk and listen to the audiobook i think i've got nine hours or something left of it I see that some people speed it up, but this, the storytelling is so, you know, it, it needs to be told in that, you know, one time speed in that kind of, the pauses are intentional and yeah, the, the way that both of these men tell a story is, is beautiful. So I'm not willing to speed it up. So I love it very much. I took my Agatha book with me, actually. It must be still in the car. So I'm going to do that this afternoon. I need a nap. I'm going to read it and fall asleep. And then tomorrow is supposed to be my check-in on Tomb of Sand. I'm meant to read 100 pages of it and check in with Anne, which I really want to honour. So I've got that to do as well. And that's really going to be it for me today in terms of action. It's a lot. I do need to potter and wash and, you know, just clean up a bit. But for now, I'm just going to have a sleep and then decide. And I'm going to go to sleep with Agatha and I'll catch you on the flip side of my nap. I'm 30 pages from the end and Miss Marple has arrived to solve the mystery brought in by the vicar's wife. Ugh, just... Just when I thought all hope was lost for her to show up. Here she is. She's going to solve it in that many pages. Because she's good. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Done. Lovely. Miss Pavel does it again. Well, Agatha Christie does it again because I was on the wrong track. <laughs> and I don't read a lot of thrillers and mysteries and stuff, so I guess I can be easily fooled. But I have never guessed an Agatha Christie murderer. Hooray. I'm really glad and grateful to the community of Booktube for doing Agatha in April and prompting me to pick up an Agatha book. I love being in this little community. Amazing. That was awesome. As I'm lying here reading, my skin feels terrible. And I make my own skin cream. If you've been watching the vlogs for a long time, you know that. So I need to go and make some skin cream now because I'm all out. So I'll go and do that. And I think I'm going to pick up um, where I left off last night with that woman asleep on the couch in Love is Blind. <laughs> I need to find out what happens. So I'll watch that while I'm making my skin cream. I'll report back. <laughs> oh, I should not read lying on the floor. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> oh, child's pose. Oh. I can't share my skin cream recipe with you because it was a workshop and this woman has her wisdom and she sells workshops around these these recipes um but i have had i hope you can hear me over the bubbling it's like an apothecary in here how oh, cool um i've got very very sensitive skin i've had eczema all of my life and i have always had to i used a lot of steroid creams when i was a little girl you know that's how they treat eczema um, and until I found this recipe, 
I was having, you know, it was just hard for me to find skin creams and this just works and I cannot use anything else now. So it, it always feels like such a pain to, when I think about having to make it. And then when I do it, it's literally a, maybe a 20 minute job max. And that lasts a couple of months. And I feel so good when I use it. So yeah, for those of you wondering what's in it, if you're into making your own skincare, I would love to share it with you, but I, 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 I can't. I use Rose Hydrosol as a base if you have um, skin that is really sensitive, very dry skin. If you have very dry skin, then Rose Hydrosol is something to look for. That's, that's my big tip. That's the tip she gave me. And I also scent it with Rose Geranium and Lang Lang and Patchouli. Those are my three flavors which I love. I do the oil part, I put it into the water part, it all mushes together and emulsifies and I'll show you the end result. Now, it's not time to talk to you anymore, it's time to watch Love is Blind while all of this brews. <laughs> I did it. Here, here is my cream. Well done. I've already put it on, my skin is thanking me with zinging sensations. Oh, and the girl who fell asleep, everything's fine. Everything's fine. She's fell asleep. Still hilarious though. <laughs> the Lover's Blind is just so fucking cheesy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can only do that in small doses. I do want to find out what happens with one couple because I think old mate is doing the wrong thing. But he can't see that because he's in a pod. So I will watch it in very small doses, I think. Holy crap, that is, I can do cheesy reality and that is ultra cheesy reality. I think they feed them the lines. They have to feed them the lines. Oh mate's about to, you know, like saying when he's in the presence of true love, feels like he's standing in the sun. I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to, you know, simple cowboys that don't say much, but we just had dinner, sorted it all out. The football's on, I'm sure you can hear that in the background. So they're stuck there. I'm here. I'm going to read Tomb of Sand. I'm going to read 100 pages. I would love to get through this tonight and check in with my reading buddy, Ange. So we'll see how it goes. She said they were really quite short chapters. I've got my cup of tea. Um, and I have read, how many pages? 36 pages of this. I mean, it's, 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 it's balmy. It's balmy? What was that word? It's, it's bizarre. And I'm trying to grasp a hold of something and I'm finding that very hard to do, but I'm only 36 pages in a really long book so I get it but my my uh Ugh. does not help understanding balmy books <laughs> bizarre books so I'm just gonna put it down for a little minute and I'll pick it back up tomorrow when I've had some sleep but I do still want to read. I just can't read that. This, this is the stack of books, right? And for my reading plans, I need to read some Indian literature. But I am reading Tomb of Sand. And then I need to read Eurovision of Thong, which is kind of these two here. However, <laughs> the we are heading into Writers Festival season. And there's an opportunity, maybe, for me to go to... Byron, hang on, it's all falling. There's an opportunity maybe for me to go to Byron and see my Almeida. That's, um, oh my God. See this author in conversation. He is doing the rounds of um, the writers' festivals. He's not coming to Brisbane, but he will be at Byron 
I mean, any opportunity to go to Byron Bay, really. But so there is a chance that I could get to this. So I would like to read this. It's in a couple of weeks. I also am running against the clock on some library books. So this is the one that needs to go back. Oh, what to do? What to do? I don't want this to go back without me getting to read it. However, I just opened up to the contents and it jumps around in all different timelines with all different characters and uh, Jill Timeline is my least favourite way of reading, of experiencing a story. Yeah, no, I could put that down. That might appeal to me at another stage. We're going to start this. Why not? Oh, this author is amazing. Born in Sri Lanka, grew up in Colombo, studied in New Zealand, and has lived and worked in London, Amsterdam, and Singapore. Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's like a it's, a, it's a, it's a murder mystery situation. So I'm going to kind of call it on the vlog for the night here. We've got a new book on the go. I'll let you know how I do with it tomorrow. But it's been a really big day. And I am, I am at the end. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Sound good? Okay. Hi, Sunday. 107. Just finished a vlog. A vlog. Just finished a zoom. Oh, my lamp. It's fallen down. Hmm, need to pick that up. Um, I did a zoom with beautiful women talking about surviving. No, yeah. Changing from surviving to thriving during the week before you bleed. That you're not just a bitch. That there is stuff going on in your body. Anyway, it was amazing. It was so, every time I gather with women and see their connection to what I'm saying and know what that's going to do in their world, it just makes me so excited for them. And it also puts a lot of pressure for me on sharing the message and showing up enough. We have this amazing opportunity to share on these platforms that go all over the world and could actually show up on them and utilize them right but my mind is buzzing and my body is just going just retreat for a bit <laughs> my little projector energy tank is empty and i need to restore so um a nap is needed for sure um the boys are cutting wood but they're just about to stop and watch the footy so i'm going to take that opportunity while they're occupied to just slow down a bit and then, um, yeah, maybe invest a bit of time in all of the thoughts that I have and all of the things that I want to do. So much, isn't there? So much and not enough time. I understand why people have personal assistants. I think I need one. That, that person would, oh my God, be punching out so many things. <laughs> I just don't have the time to do everything I want to do, right? Especially when I need to restore so much with my energy. Got to kind of like try not to get pulled into the frustration around all of that and just take it as it is. Let's do a little reading update. Can't even remember what I read. I need to go into the reading room to work that one out. Let's do that. This is my little studio. Oh, you guys have seen this so far in the vlog, haven't you? Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Spending time in here makes me incredibly happy, makes me feel inspired. I am always lit creatively in this space. Okay, let's go and see where we're up to with our reading. I mean, look at this day. Could it be any more perfect? The sun is gorgeous. It's the perfect autumn day. God, it's beautiful. The boys are stacking wood for our winter. And he's cutting up old fence posts over there, making the stack. And then the boys go off in their little trolley and get it. <laughs> this is what they've stacked so far. That makes me happy. 
they're nearly done. They've been going a couple of hours now. Tensions are starting to mount <laughs> between <laughs> um, how Fitzy thinks wood should be stacked and how Patty thinks wood should be stacked. Hilarious. Um, where am I up to? Oh, shit. I've got to read. To oh, God. Sorry. I've got to read Tomb of Sand. That's what I was doing. Oh, and okay. And then I did read, start to read this. Seven Moons. It's uh, super intriguing. It opens with a guy who's just died. And it's from his, it's his voice. It's in the in-between stage. And they're telling him he has seven moons to do what needs to be done, I guess. So I'm going to get sucked into this very easily. Maybe that's why I forgot about Tomb of Sand because I did not get sucked into that after 20 pages at all. So yeah, look, I'm just going to take a moment. I just want to check in with you guys. I'm just going to take a moment. Take a breath. Get something yummy to eat. That's what I need. Hmm, I'll work on that. And then we're going to get back into action. It is Sunday and I feel a lot of pressure on a Sunday to have the house all set up. Um, we've got a lot going on this week too. Look, I'm trying to talk myself into resting and I shouldn't need to do that. I'm going to rest. I'll talk to you after. Why are my children running? I have roast dinner. Homemade gravy, roast chicken delicious thank you for dinner oh you're welcome my darling i love you have a drink oh enjoy oh you just came to thank me for dinner my children are amazing um that makes me feel regulated I cleaned and feel better because of it. I don't feel so cluttered. Um, and yeah, I think I just need to sign off. I just need to sign off, sleep and try again tomorrow. We're all, Danny and I, especially are just not wanting to go into the week. <laughs> you know that feeling of a Sunday where you just don't feel like you've had enough of a break? to kind of reset we're both there so I'm just going to submit to that feeling tonight and then start again tomorrow reading doesn't factor into that so I'll talk to you tomorrow when I am active in what I need to show up for oh I just turned on the camera yes darling she wanted to tell you something about the school um, one of my friends had two melting moments. Oh, they're delicious melting moments. Oh my god, lovely. We can make them tomorrow. Oh, we can, you make melting moments? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's totally easy. We're just going to have custard powder, which I think we do. Yes. Melting moments are delicious. I used to call them yo yo's when I was little. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. It was very important for him to tell me what his friend had in his lunchbox. Anything to not get in the shower. It's Monday afternoon. Monday night, really. And today was a lot of numbers at work. And, but I did go for a ride in a truck. And I forgot to take my phone with you. Because I went to this bizarre place that the scrap metal that was... Like, yeah, anyway, that was the highlight of my day. Going to a scrap metal yard. We have tomorrow off. Tomorrow is Anzac Day. Kind of really happy to just be taking a breath. It's just the update. I've got dinner in the oven and dinner on the stove because I felt like curry. I don't eat curry, so I'm making myself curry. And yeah, we're just all going to bed down. The boys are requesting a Lego Masters viewing. We're a bit behind in our Lego Masters watching, so we might do that tonight. Denny's out riding. You know, just the things. So... My plan is to sit and watch some booktube, inspire me to read. Probably got a few Friday reads from Sean to catch up on. And I'm going to read and get stuck into this and kind of not sink into reality TV. Maybe that's why I'm feeling like crap. 
I'm in a reality TV binge watching cycle that always makes me feel crap. But it's just so damn numbing. I have intention that the night will take me to reading, so let's just see whether I can stick with that intention. I'm just watching my new find in Alison Page's booktuber and she <laughs> was watching Love is Blind and one of the, one of the guys proposes by like writing a song and he can he just sings he loves to sing but he he doesn't he, he can't sing and he, there was this clip of her just hearing the song and cringing <laughs> So I'm not alone in my lover's blind cringiness. Um, she is making me so inspired to set up this room. She's just moved house and she's got this little room and I'm always in here and I never have a place for my computer or anything to write or just express ideas and all of that sort of stuff. And yeah, so I'm feeling I want to create that space in here with my laptop. That involves moving things around. And I think if I said to my children right now, can you help me move a table? They would die. Maybe I'll just do it anyway. in put all my journals there I'm just gonna clean that up now I've got my table here with my laptop and my journal stuff it's getting cozier so I'd love to say that I'm gonna sit in here and enjoy a book and this new space and but no it's Lego Masters time we promised the kids I've got curry which is a new curry that I tried I think it's gonna be okay and yeah maybe I'll get to spend some time in here after Lego Masters but they're thinking two episodes so So a few things have happened this morning. Um, oh, my story graph stuff all synced. So sorted that out. I'm not a big reading stats kind of gal, but I figure at the end of the year, it'll be nice to see, you know, an easier way of collating all of that with my five star books and how many books I borrowed from the library and all of that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's been heaps of fun. Anyway, that happened. But the most exciting thing though, is that I read this and I sent a message to my buddy and who I'm reading this with and I said to her that I am the poster girl for a person who shouldn't read 
like literary books when they're tired <laughs> because when I opened this book it was jumble and I didn't want to keep reading it and you heard all my thoughts but it's just so far from my experience with it this morning I'm at this like 70 page mark so I just read another 30 pages but from the moment I started reading I was enthralled I was I was completely loving it the the words are beautiful the way they put together this story that the way that it's being told is so unique and I'm here for it I there's a there's a mother who won't get out of bed who won't eat who won't talk her husband has died and her children are trying to get her out of bed and the way that that has been told is unbelievable there was you know talk of you know her just being tired and then this image raised of her back being full of holes from all of the stuff that she's had to bear over the years I do, oh my god beautiful in love with it quickly sent a message to Ange and went hang on I love it I was being ridiculous so that's that's the big news of the morning it's Anzac Day here so we're all just staying home it's a Tuesday um and we are deciding that we want to potter for the day. The main thing we need to do is get my little one ready for his camp, which he leaves for tomorrow, his first ever school camp. I'm terrified, but plan it cool. So that's the big job of the day. And then we're just gonna kind of potter and get our house sorted. And I love that. I love that so much. Kitsy's practicing his drop kicks for the day. I'm going to get the washing done. I'm going to get a lot of reading, but outside it is beautiful. We should spend a lot of time outside today. How gorgeous is it? So yeah, we're going to flow. Enjoy flowing with us for the day. Guys, I just missed an amazing vlog opportunity there with a rearranging montage. I didn't do it. I've just been spending an hour out here changing this into our autumn <laughs> cooler months setup. This is our little outdoor shack there's our little kitchen and our bar um, but here there's all it's all been closed all the way around so until the dead of winter we get a lot of time out here we look out on the pool sadly that's a little too cold but being out here is beautiful and it's very windy out here on the plains so yeah, having the opportunity to be outside is really nice. So I just changed everything around. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Just going to show you. Just going to pick up some dirt piles on the ground. And we're done. Oh, do you have those YouTube channels that you watch to motivate you? So I watch a lot of AuthorTube stuff and journaling, people journaling and stuff. That like daily vlogs around that stuff. Um, that motivates me to keep going. So I just watched one and now I'm like, right, I need to do all of the things and yeah, sit in a bit of an action state for the evening. It's 4.30 in the afternoon and they're going to watch the football while I do some things. Would love to edit this vlog. I also would love to set up a newsletter and I also have a kind of idea for a sort of self-paced course to do with the cycle stuff that I'd like to get organized i need to integrate set more oh yeah there's a lot i can be doing so yeah feeling that energy right now so i'm gonna make that happen okay even on my day off look at me <laughs> right what to do first that having a slight meltdown because my baby's going to camp it's his first ever school camp and he's amazing and he's so excited and he has no fears nothing that he's shared with me I've asked him a million times but oh my goodness such a big thing 
I did a heap of work. I set up like a pop-up thing on my website for people to subscribe to my newsletter. I'm in the middle of doing a landing page. I don't really have a newsletter yet, but we'll work that out later. It's kind of the first steps to making that happen. And I wrote down heaps of topics that I could share. Knowledge on. So that's exciting. It's all a bit clunky and obviously I'd like to upgrade all of that at some stage, but for now, so that was cool to have that burst of energy. And then I just realized that this is the end of the vlog and I can't remember if I've finished a book. Here, let's do the, let's do the book wrap up. I am up to page 40 <laughs> of seven moons. I am up to page 70 something of Tomb of Sand and I am up to page 100 and something. I haven't listened to any more of Saga Land. So there, that's the reading update. Thank you for being with me on this learning curve that is doing weekly vlogs. I'm really enjoying it and I definitely will continue. I will work out my rhythm soon. Okay, thank you and I'll see you in the next vlog. Good night.